For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Starting off with my first soluble candy elixir, like always, I like to apply this 10 minutes before I apply my makeup. It helps make my makeup go on much smoother, it keeps me hydrated for much, much longer, and I kind of use it as a primer. It gives me that dewy look without looking oily and just makes my makeup go on much, much better and last much, much better. So I'm just patting that onto damp skin. Then 10 minutes later, I'm going to apply my foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I haven't used this bad boy in such a long time and I missed it. This is hands down the best foundation I've ever used in my entire life. If you haven't tried it and you want to splurge a little bit on a foundation, you need to try this foundation, especially if you like that dewy look like me. I love dew and I love glow. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my concealer, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on one of my favorite concealer brushes by Sephora. And I'm just going to highlight my under eyes between my brows and my cupid's bow. I'm sorry if you guys hear a little buzzing noise, there's this ladybug in my office and it's driving me insane. And it makes me feel so bad because it's a ladybug, but it's so annoying, it's like bzz, 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 everywhere. I just it's driving me insane. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, just blending out my concealer now. Um, I'm just working on all the cream products on my face first before I work on my eyes. So I'm just going to set that under eye with my NARS translucent powder. For those of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know this is my jam. I love this stuff. It makes my makeup last forever and ever. Um, it doesn't translate uh, like a white cast in pictures and it's super lightweight and I love it. And now I'm just going to cream contour with my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the color Almond with my tapered kabuki brush from Sigma and this little paintbrush that I got from the dollar store. If you're in Canada, you can get this at Dollarama. It comes in like a pack of six. It's a dollar pretty much and it's the best for contouring and getting very precise with your contour. So just really blending that out, making sure there's no harsh lines. Now, for those of you guys who've been watching my videos for a while now, you guys know that I love to set creams with powders because it just makes it last much longer and gives it a better look. I just really like it. Um, then I'm going to do my brows. This is Brun Eyeshadow by MAC, and I'm just gonna fill in these sparse areas. I have pretty much found the routine that works for me for my brows, and that is Brun Eyeshadow by MAC. I started using all these fancy brow products and I just ended up looking like Shrek and it's like Shrek and Bert and Ernie all mashed into one is what I look like pretty much. <laughs> so I just stick to this one powder now and I set it using my Ico brow gel. I mentioned this in a previous video that I love this stuff. It doesn't make my brow hair shed, keeps them in place all day long and it's very slightly tinted for those of you girls who are like me who already have fuller brows and you just need a tiny bit of help. This stuff is perfect. So now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using Green Eyeshadow by MAC and this Sigma brush. All product names and details will be in the description box below like always as well as a list of all the brushes that I'm using in the order that they appear. Now I like to use Green as a highlight because it's a satin finish so it's not shiny, metallic, not shimmery but it's not matte at the same time. Once the brows are highlighted, I'm gonna take my NARS eyeshadow primer and just apply this all over the entire lid. And now I'm gonna start working on the eye makeup while the face makeup just kinda of sits into my skin and just settles in a little bit and chills there for a little bit. So I'm gonna be using my entire Makeup Forever artist shadow palette that I created and I'm using this lightest color first and I'm just packing this onto the entire mobile lid. Now what that means is just Wherever your lid is, pretty much below the crease, that's where I'm packing this on. And you don't need much of this eyeshadow because this stuff is super pigmented and very easy to blend. I'm obsessed with these eyeshadows. Then I'm taking a big old fluffy brush and I'm taking the middle copperish color and I'm buffing this into my crease. Like I said, I really love these Makeup Forever Artist shadows. They are totally worth the money, especially if you have a hard time blending. Like, I barely needed to blend anything, and it just made everything so easy and buttery. It was like my eyelids were mashed potatoes, and the makeup 
the eyeshadows were butter. Why do I always have to talk about food? <laughs> Why am I always so hungry? <laughs> Anyways, now I'm taking the matte reddish brown color and I'm gonna create a wing with this color and kind of just blend it out and wing it out. You'll see, you can see what I'm doing. I suck at explaining things. <laughs> So this is going in the outer third of my eye and slightly blending it inwards towards the center of the eye as well because I really want the eye look to be really winged out and cat-like and smoky. I love this brush for creating a winged eyeshadow type of look. It literally makes it so easy. I'm one of those people who don't like to use like precise angled brushes because it just takes way too much time and it makes it harder to blend because it creates a harsh line but this brush is the Perfect. I love it for creating that winged look as you can see Love it. I can't say any more good things about it <laughs> um, Yeah, it looks crazy right now all my makeup looks look crazy until they're done It's just like girl. Do you even know what you're doing? Like what are you doing with your life? But you'll see um, now I'm just taking my gel eyeliner This one's by Clinique and my angled brush from Sigma and I'm creating a very elongated Wing so I'm pretty much following the wing that I created with the eyeshadow and then just bringing it inwards and creating a regular winged eyeliner. Um, like I said, I'm elongating the wing, so it makes my eyes look more cat-like and sultry. I'm not really rounding out the shape, I'm really pulling it out. Then for my waterline, I'm taking this reddish brown color. It's really similar to the eyeshadow that I created the wing with. Um, it's a beautiful reddish brown. Love this color, especially if you have pretty much any color eye. Um, it works perfectly, it really brings out your eyes. So just running this along my waterline. And then I'm gonna take whatever shadows I used in the lid and I'm gonna work them onto my lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with the middle color first and I'm gonna blend this all over the entire lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take that matte reddish brown and I'm gonna focus it on the outer third of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take that lightest color and it's gonna go right in the inner corner. I was in a rush when I was doing my makeup for my brother's wedding because not only was I the sister of the groom, but I also had to get everyone ready. I had to do all their hair and makeup, so it didn't leave me with too much time to get ready. So everything is kind of a rush for me, but I think it worked out. I was really happy with it and the wedding was so beautiful. I'm just so thankful everything went so smoothly. So the eyes are done now, almost. Um, now I'm just gonna apply my mascara. You guys know me. I love to layer on my mascara, so I'm starting with my Lancome, is it Faux Seals? It's something Seals. <laughs> um, this is a lash primer, I love this. I don't really know if it does much for me, but I just like to think that it does, so. And it was free, it was a sample from Sephora, the 100 point perk, so applying that first. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara and applying a lot of that because I love mascara. <laughs> And everyone says I shouldn't apply so much mascara, but I like it. Maybe one day I'll stop when I grow up, <laughs> even though I'm already grown. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply my third coat of mascara, which is the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. This mascara is my jam. Love it. Love these two together. I always go back to my dream team. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so anyways, just working that on, I like to do my wiggle and blink. Together, I look crazy. Then I'm actually going to take my MAC Prep and Prime highlighter in Light Boost and this fluffy brush that I got from Walmart. And I'm just gonna highlight my under eye a little bit and right in the center of my brows and my cupid's bow. This is just gonna add a little bit more light and brighten up the area already. And I know I already powdered there and you shouldn't put creams over powders, but rules are meant to be broken. And this is just what works for me. I like to put this over top of powder, it works perfectly fine and stays put and it looks great. So just blending that all over, break the rules. They're meant to be broken. Anyways, now I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer. Everything is my favorite, I need to stop saying that. But I'm just gonna buff this onto my skin, bronze up the skin a little bit. I'm not being very precise with this because I am gonna go in and chisel out the cheekbones a little bit because it's my brother's wedding and I wanna wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> Um, yeah, so blending that on, then I'm just going to take this smaller fluffy brush from BH and my matte contour powder, I think this one's in Shadester, and I'm really gonna chisel out that cheekbone so that it looks like I'm um, Skeletor because I just wanted a very chiseled cheekbone. So yeah, just blending that on, 
But you want to make sure there's no harsh lines. You don't want to walk out with a line that looks like a beard like Wolverine. So make sure you blend it really well. Then I'm going to take this blush from NARS and my angled brush from Sigma and I'm going to work this onto my cheeks. Now because everything else that I use, like everything on the lid, my bronzer, my highlight is all shimmery, I decided to go for a matte blush and a matte lip. So love this matte pink blush and then I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Heat Wave and I'm going to apply this onto the high points of my cheekbones, between my brows, tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. Pretty much wherever I normally highlight. I look like Aunt Jemima, <laughs> now that I look at myself. <laughs> you know the, the lady that's on the pancake mixes? <laughs> ah. Anyways, she's cute. <laughs> um, now I'm just gonna do my lips. This is Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. This is that Kylie Jenner lip liner that everyone is stuck up on. Um, I really like this lip liner. Um, I'm pretty much just using this because I want it as a base. I want my lipstick to last forever and ever. This is one of my favorite lip products from Bobbi Brown ever. This is like my go-to color for pretty much all the time. If I don't know what lip color I'm gonna wear, it's gonna be this one. It's so perfect, it lasts forever, and the formula is just amazing. So once I apply that, I'm just gonna apply some mascara onto my lower lashes and make the most hideous face of life, like a fish that's just, not cool. <laughs> I curled my hair beforehand. I'm just taking all the pins out. I have a tutorial on this hair if you'd like to see it. I'll link it somewhere here. It's just my old Hollywood hair that I've been obsessed with lately. Um, yeah, so this is the dress that I'm wearing. I got it from Bahira's Boutique. They have the most beautiful dresses. My mom and my sister also got their dresses from there and they were just amazing quality. So I'm really happy with Bayra's Boutique. Check them out when you get a chance. The link will be in the description box below, like I said. Now I just put henna on my right hand. I didn't really put any on my left hand. And I actually took the shawl slash jibata and tied it around my waist to create like a really fancy empire waist type thing. I really like the way that it looked. And I love the detailing on the dress. It's so beautiful. I cannot get over it. This is my favorite dress ever. Um, here's the necklace and a close-up view of the top. And my nails actually matched my brother's theme. That's why I wore blue and it matched my husband's tie. Here is the full outfit view and me doing my twirly twirls. No chika chika yad today because there's no bangles because the details on the arms are just beautiful. Um, that's about it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a great big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in my next one.